Hi, Bill. Um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go over uh, the survey that we worked on together, and primarily you were the one that did uh, most of the work. And uh, you had asked me about uh, we want to get the survey going again. So what I did is the biggest thing that was confounding me was the ability for the uh, for us to get rid of that data report that just kept adding more and more information to the records. In other words, disconnect the report from the data that we currently had. So what I'm going to do is just go through a couple things. You've, I've already sent you the username and the password for this. And when you log in, you're going to see this screen. And if you go up here to these nine little uh, uh, squares, if you will, just go ahead and click on the drive. And I just, uh, going over this today, I needed to refresh my memory myself because I completely forgot what we really had worked on. Uh, everything that we did for the survey is located under Viewpoint Survey. And so if we just double click on it, you'll see what we currently have right now. This uh, report here was just a, a spreadsheet that uh, I believe either you or I created. I think it was you that just listed the names of the people that we would send this to. I think one of the people, Roberta, so um, we would add that her name, last name, and anybody else that we could think of that we would want to send the, the uh, re initial survey to and get some feedback so that we would help design the survey a little better. I'm going to close out of that. Next thing I wanted to do is this was just a, uh, a sample copy of the email that we would send to these uh, people uh, to get their uh, feedback. As, uh, in other words, it's a draft survey, and uh, again, since you and I, or you're, you're actually going to be the one that's going to be leading this, I would just say that any questions they would have that would go to you would be really good. Uh, next, this is the actual form that was created, and this is in the, in the working order of the form. In other words, this is where we can click on it and edit it and change anything that we want. Um, if we want to review it uh, live view, then we can click here, which is just a place. But later on, we can always get the link and then send the link to the people. But this is where we would edit the form. Uh, going back here, this I took the survey again, and I just have one record in here. And the purpose of this one record was just to make sure that was all that was showing up was just that one record in the report and not a whole bunch of other records. So I just had one. I took it today. But this is the spreadsheet with all of the data that's in here uh, from the questions that we have asked. The next thing that uh, I wanted to point out is we had a PDF copy of the form that was created before this. And it was when we had, I think, 12 responses and we were basically just uh, trying to see what the data looked like. Uh, the report can be generated as an Adobe Acrobat PDF document. And this is probably the one that really becomes helpful so people can understand what the results really are instead of reading the raw data. So I uh, just want to refresh memory there, close out of there. And then this was, I believe, uh, the same report, but it was not in the form of it was opened up actually in um, the uh, Google Docs word processing tool, which allowed us to save this and make it a PDF document. What I wanted to do now is just to show you how we are able to disconnect this form from the data. So I'm going to go back to the survey form here for a minute. And when I go up here, if I just want to see what the data looks like that I currently have, I just click here and I say summary of responses. And what will happen is we get, as you can see, one chart okay because that's all we have right now because I have one person and what I clicked on that's what's in this report okay and uh, of course as we add more there'll be more data in here uh, this for example is just showing how many people were saying that uh, I said I wanted something with hot lights why I have no idea incandescent so on and so forth but that's the, the report that we're talking about and this is the report that for whatever reason at the time was not changing. We just kept adding data to the report. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how we disconnect the data from that. We go back up to responses and we click on delete responses and that's specifically for this particular report. When we do this and we say okay, 
it deletes the responses and then if we go back up here again and we want to do a summary of responses you'll see that the responses is gone so that's what we were attempting to do so I think this resolves the problem uh, that at least I had and couldn't figure out and why I kind of just goofed off and not was not able to resolve the problem but I think with this we're able to go forward we're able to send the um, the email I can bring this up at the next board meeting which would be not this Wednesday but the following Wednesday uh, it'd be great if you could come and we could just show the report that we're going to do and let everybody know there that this is going to be a trial to gather the data and that we're going to be asking for their response and just give them a list of who we're going to be sending it to and then ask them if they have anybody else that they think that we should send it to so with that that should cover everything that I wanted to do and I thought I would do this as a screencast because it was easier to do this than it was to send it as a uh, completely text document with a bunch of uh, captured uh, graphics.